should just give us a nice song. Have, we have a good day. Bless you. Lord, I don't deserve this blessing, but I thank you. Mm. And we don't. No, I Isn't it good to serve God? Yeah. Isn't it good to be able to answer a clear conscience to God? Yeah. And say, here I am. You have to get you the song ready and we will. We've had a good day. You know, and it, when I hear these brothers come, <laughs> so many things go through my mind and what a blessing that I get listening to them and, and their story and their testimony it's so real yeah. Yeah. nobody's trying to fool anybody here it is so real to serve God yeah. 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 and it makes me think you know and it In this world that we see people, they, you see Michael, how he was talking about how he started to rise out there in the world. Started out tough and he started to, in the eyes of the world, he started to prosper. You look at the people around, you look at TV, the famous people and how they just hurt how they rise in, the, in this world and how many of them we see that fall after they rise because that's the way of the world. Yeah. And I think about this. I guess the world sees it as rising. Now listen, when you grow in those things, but there, you listen to this, you just get you the song ready for the mic. Time a long time ago. Now listen, when Jesus was born, now when he was just a newborn babe, they brought him to the temple, didn't they? Yeah. Because that was their custom, they bring uh, the males to the temple there. Now listen, and, and when they brought him there, just routine stuff going on here. Sure. Sure. Now listen, oh, man, but there. there was an old man sitting there. Now listen, and I believe his name was Simeon, our son, and he'd been waiting a long time uh, for something to come along uh, because uh, God had told him uh, that uh, he wouldn't see death until he saw salvation come to this world. Our uh, son, and here, the, here's the amazing part. Our uh, son, this old man, uh, why uh, he took that baby in his arms. Our uh, son, and he began uh, why, to praise. Uh, he began to praise God uh, that he'd lived long enough uh, uh, to see. And what did he say? He looked at uh, Joseph and Mary there, and he said, this this child is set uh, for the fall and rising of many here. Uh, some, uh, that's backwards people. Uh, why the sun to what we look at? Uh, how do you fall if you've never risen? Uh, oh, God, I was born to fall a man in this world. Uh, the sun here, I, I might have fooled this world some, uh, but I
It would have never entered your mind. I would suddenly get involved. Oh, no.
We have a great cloud of witness around us.
we've uh, we published the opening of the church doors, we know that God opens the door and no man closes it. And that the door of mercy is still open. But we published the opening of the church doors and, and Alicia has come forth and she says that she feels like God has saved her soul. And she wants to come Thank forward. Lord. Put her light on a candlestick and be baptized. And I think that's a wonderful thing. That's a wonderful thing. You both just want to make the move and send it to us. I'm going to have to receive them. I'm going to have to receive them. Good move. That's a wonderful thing. Why don't we go ahead and sing a song? And everybody come around and give her the right hand of fellowship. And while the brother, they've asked Brother Joey to sing uh, when I lay my crown. While the brothers sing, I want to say that the door is still open. And I'm thankful for that. If that door of mercy was closed, there isn't one person that would be here today. When that door of mercy is closed, it will all be over. It'll be too late for the fall in that morning to pray. It'll all be over. But I, I want to beg men and women today that while you have breath, you have opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord. So that's what you need. God loves to hear his children cry. He loves to hear them and say that, that he is king and he is Lord of Lord. We need to do whatsoever the, the, the Lord would bid us to do. It's funny because that, that very even the first time that I prayed for Jesus, God a miracle. God, listen. Whatever the Lord bids you to do, you do it. And it still goes to this day. Whatever the Lord would bid you to do, you need to be doing that. You'll be all right. I guarantee you, Lord, this world will beat you up. This world will beat me up. It'll beat me so bad that one of these days, maybe I'll be in a hospital room, I don't know. Maybe I'll be at home. But the world is going to beat me to the point that one of these days, I'm going to be closing my eyes in this world for the last time. But you know what? There's victory in the Lord. And then when I close my eyes and then Surrender. Be obedient. 